here is basically everything you need to build your $300 ish lithium battery so let's start with kind of the components here obviously you're going to need the headway cells this particular build is going to call for 32 of these making it a 64 amp hour battery the cost on these varies depending on whether you are buying used or new cells you can get these used cells for around eight dollars a piece at battery hookup i'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out you can also get these new cells at several different places for anywhere from 14 to 19 dollars each so if you have to pay that much the cost on this will go up significantly that being said you're going to need something to hold them in and this group 31 battery box from noco will fit the bill for me i don't need nothing extravagant i don't need nothing pretty i just need something that will work for what we want to do and this will do that for about $15. The expensive part often is the bus bars. That's because if you're getting custom bus bars, you're gonna get them milled. They're gonna be very, very expensive. You can also buy the inexpensive copper bus bars that come with these. They're around a dollar or so each. But if you like to do something a bit cleaner, let me introduce you to a PCB board bus bar. Now this bus board is made by PCB Way in conjunction with a, another YouTube channel I watch, Jehu Garcia, who does a lot of battery videos. This was a collab he had with them to come up with an inexpensive bus bar that's 500 amp capable. He's tested that very claim on his channel and I will leave a link below so you can check that out. So really good videos on lithium and uh, he's someone you should definitely check out if you're interested in this kind of stuff. That being said, this is gonna cost you about 30 bucks plus shipping. We need to add one more thing, an active balancer. Now, these are relatively cheap. You can get them for 20 bucks. That being said, we're about $340, $350 into a 64 amp hour lithium battery that should have quite good performance. So before we start with the assembly on this, I need to top balance all these batteries. Let's cut to that clip. You can see how I did top balance them. And then we'll start the assembly and get this battery looking like an actual battery. The easiest way I found to do this in a large number is just use bare copper wire, belling wire, whatever you have on hand. In this case, I have a bunch of belling wire. All the negatives are hooked together. All the positives are hooked together. All these cells are together. It's as simple as taking the belling wire, wrapping it around, tightening on the screw, wrapping it around, tightening on the screw, and just continue that process all the way for all the negatives, and then the same thing on all the positives. Since this is such a large bank, you know, I don't really have room to run it all the way across. The way I'm doing this is just crossing it over with speaker wire. So positive here goes to positive here, negative here goes to negative here. If you have to do this in your scenario, make sure to use speaker wire or something coated on the end because you can see right here how these wires might cross over if you use bare belling wire or copper wire so you do not want to even risk that so go ahead and use speaker wire or power cable for the jumper between the two we're going to let these top mounts for a while and then we will recheck all the voltages and see where we're at after the top balance. All these cells have top balance for a little over 24 hours now. So now as we check voltage, we're gonna see how close they are. You always wanna double check your voltages before you build your pack after your top balance. Just to make sure everything's okay before you start assembling everything. Now we're on to the fun part, and that is pack assembly. This board makes it so easy. It shows you where to put all the negatives, where to put all the positives, and you simply just have to take off the screws, tighten them up, and uh, you're good to go. One thing I will mention is you do not want to over tighten these. Just give it one quarter turn past tight to snug it up, and that's all you need. Now that we've got one side of the board on, it's easy to see the configuration here. These are negatives, these are positives, these are negatives, these are positives. I'll remove all these screws, we'll put the bottom plate on. What I'm gonna do is tighten them and then a quarter turn past that. You definitely don't wanna over torque these for sure. So let me get this uh, bottom plate on here and we'll be able to see everything as it is before we put it in the case and hook up wires and all that.
Now that we've got the pack completely assembled, let's see where our resting voltage is. This is top balance, but it's not charged. So it should be around 13 volts ish. We'll see. 13.05 volts. So we'll hook up the balancer and then we'll kind of figure out how I want to put it into that battery case. Hooking up an active balancer is a very easy process. You just need the first ground the first four positives in my case because it's a 4s configuration if you need more in-depth video on how to do this i will link you to a video that i done earlier showing you how to hook up an active bouncer and a pms now we're on to the case i didn't need anything fancy so i went ahead and bought this inexpensive noco battery box it's for a group 27 to group 31 battery they're around $15. It has an included divider, which will help. I also bought a cheap piece of foam board. You can buy in two by four foot sections, relatively cheap at any hardware store. And that's gonna give me a little bit of vibration protection and kind of lock the battery in there. Now, if you're gonna have this in vehicle, you may want to change your case up to suit whatever you're actually doing. So after a little bit of debate with myself, I did change the way that I wanted to do this. I decided to just go a lug on lug on lug connection to some leads I already had pre-made and used several different times. This will be easier for my setup. And this box allows wire out underneath. So this will fit my setup pretty well and I won't have to go through the top and it'll just be overall easier on me. And uh, since this is not gonna be in a vehicle and this is just for my test bench, I think it's going to work out just fine. So that is it. That is my 64 amp headway bank. Now this is very utilitarian. It's very basic. This is not meant to be pretty because it's literally going to live underneath this bench. You can definitely change this up if you want to. You can get a nicer case. You can get some kind of distribution on top, like one of these blocks on each side would work. You could even use, like I did on my last battery build, a block for a real battery. There's plenty of options you can do to dress this up a little bit. But for me, I decided to just keep it simple. I'll be able to hook these leads straight up to the other end of this Anderson plug over here, be able to plug it into my distribution block and be all good. And the bonus of this is I can run this with other AGM batteries that I already have. Let me quickly go over the final cost of this build. Right now on the battery hookup, you can get the headway cells used for $5 each. So that's gonna set you back 160. The NOCO battery box is gonna cost you 1295. The PCB bus bar and extra parts included are gonna cost you $40. An active balancer will cost you $30. The foam board, wire, and etc will be about 40 to $50, depending on your local hardware store. The total cost of this is under $300. It's around 280 bucks. So with that being said, I do hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. I love my entire Patreon crew, but the $6 or more members get a special shout out, and that is 2001 Monolithic, G. Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego Audio, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Scott Dilbeck, D. Stewart, David Koslick, Scott McCord, Matthew Tolberg, Cornet, Trucker 9000, Bobby Burkett, Kevin Lautner, James Childers, Baba, Thomas Marshall, and Living Loud with Andy. If you've ever wondered how can I support Hi Fi Vega, this is the way to do it. Check me out at Patreon dot com slash high five vega we do an exclusive live stream for patrons only some of them get to join it's a really fun time you should definitely check it out